narrator, one of seven, value selector, off, one of two. We gather at iconic cathedrals of speed. United by passion. Driven by competition. We bond over every challenge. Celebrate every second found. And discover who we are at the limit. Welcome to a new era of motorsport. Welcome to Forza. Guys, welcome to a new game on the channel. We are playing some Forza Motorsport. I've been waiting for this game pretty much for a very long time since I played old Forza Motorsport. The one I'm 100% interested in, which category it is, is I'm really interested in the Formula Grid, which is drifting. But actually, I'm 100%. So we can change the camera if we want to. Um, I have. The heavy assist on so I can learn how to play this very well. I have a racing wheel. We'll be playing with that probably maybe next episode. Maybe I don't know. Oh, come on. I gotta use the bathroom. Oh, Lord. Let me. 12 seconds later. Okay, we're back now. So, I've always wanted to play this game. I just had to use the bathroom. I've always wanted to play this game, but, you know, it wasn't a. I could never get like how I was on Forza Horizon 5 or something like that. So I would always try to find something to play, you know what I mean? 
So when this game was released or was announced that it was coming out, I was like, thank God, because I've always played all the rest of the formula, the four, uh, Forza Motorsports formula. The uh, Forza Motorsports, I was actually happy that this one came out. And this one actually is not too far. And it won. And it gets to exactly what we want, which is, I want is the drip. That's what I want. Oh god. Oh, get off the grass. Get off the grass. Steering is flipping off. Oh, that would be steering. Yeah, okay. We did it. And That's just a taste more. of a typical practice session with light traffic. Now let's see what the final laps of an endurance race is like against a full field of competition. Next stop, Hakone, Japan. behind us and only a couple more to go. Just one last pit stop for fresh tires and you'll be in a great position for the final push. Track is clear to the left. Get on it. Let's go. Alright, so we're good to go now. We're driving what it seems like is a new Brand new Cadillac, like Formula One car. Which is kind of crazy to me. We're gonna change the camera a little bit. Give you guys a different feel of the car. See how it looks inside, the cockpit. This is crazy how you can do this. Just wait until I get my wheel. Like every every video is going to be in first person, especially when I do the drifting. Get around. There you go. There you go. Get the feel of it. Get the feel of it. There you go. 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 There you go. Come on. Come on. Get in front of him. In front of him. Come on, dude. Let's go. Let's go. Get in front of him. Corvette, we're gonna jump in front. We're gonna get some different cam camera angles right on the GT4. Go, 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 go. Mm -hmm. Don't push me. Do not do that, bro. Last lap, finish strong. All right, we're in ninth place. We gotta keep it going. Looks like a Ferrari maybe in front of me. Maybe. No, it looks like a Mercedes. Maybe. This looks like a Lamborghini, maybe? Oh, maybe it is. Maybe a Lamborghini, like a Senna? No, not Senna. Oh my God! Like a Lamborghini Huracan Evo, something like that, or a Spider, or a Super Trofeo. It might be the Super Trofeo. Mercedes. That was definitely Mercedes. Sixth place. Good. We're doing good. I don't know where the No, 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 no. Keep him over there. Come over there. Go, 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 go. Split it, split it. There you go. Good job, good job. Split the tail. Split that needle. There you go. There you go. Push him out of the way. Just for nudge. Uh-uh, bro. Don't do that. Oh. That's finished. Fly. Go, 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 go. Yes! Oh, if that GCR didn't slow down, he would have caught me. Oh, wow, that is crazy. I really thought I was going to get stuck behind that GCR. If I probably would have ran him off the road, he would have probably made it. That's crazy. From open practice runs to thrilling wheel-to-wheel -wheel races, that's just a small sample of what's ahead. Ready to begin your motorsport journey?
let's gear up for your new racing career. All right, so we have different, I think, female? That's female. Yeah, that's female body. Okay. Uh, you know what? Let's do a female. You let's let's do that. Later to try something we'll, we'll do a female. Or to check out what's new. Uh, we got 50,000 credits, which is really crazy that they just give you that. So I like that purple. I got like a gold. And the dark blue looks cool too. What's that? Okay. That's cool. That was not bad. What's that? Ooh, I like that one. That one's not bad. That's not bad. That's cool. I'll do that one. And let me see the red. No, I'll do the red. Yeah, I'm gonna do the red. A car's journey from the showroom floor to the winner's circle is the culmination of a thousand little decisions. Every part, every detail, all carefully chosen by great builders who know what it takes to push a car past its perceived limitations, to find that extra tenth of a second, and in the process, create something that is a unique extension of themselves. Your car's journey begins here. To become a Builder's Cup champion, you'll need to outsmart and outbuild your opponents before battling it out wheel to wheel on race day. For our first series, we have a few cars for you to choose from. Each is a great starting point for you to build, so pick the one that speaks to you. Okay, so these are the cars I can pick for. So we have a 2019 Subaru STI S209. Two thousand eighteen Honda Civic Type R, which is a very good car, and a twenty eighteen Ford Mustang GT. Now you know, if it's any car I would pick on this list, it would be the Mustang. But if I want something that's going to handle very well, I'm going to pick either one of these. I'm not saying the Mustang doesn't, but you know I'm gonna go with my heart and I'm gonna go with the Mustang. The Ford Mustang is the original pony car and an American icon. This GT model is both beauty and beast, channeling raw V8 power through its rear tires for impressive lap times. All right, let's go. Here is where you create your best possible racing experience by adjusting the difficulty and rule set. As your racing skills evolve, try raising the difficulty to earn even more credits to buy other cars. Okay, so these are all the driver uh, driver difficulty. Higher values make AI opponent achieve faster lap time through more precise gas braking corners. Place first, second, or third to collect bonuses. So I can't go any lower than first. Now I can't go any lower than third place. I, I have to say either first, second, or third. I can't go any lower. So I can go to a two, which will make their difficulty a little higher. I'm going to go... 34 percent that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna do a four and i'm gonna do so they have different rules so a rule is bonus a good challenge with less focus on the racetrack uh race strategy and penalties limit to track cutting place first or place or get that so they have club rules which is cosmetic damage only rewind on limited penalty so we can do that one or we can do Sports rules, which is simulated fuel and tires, revert uh, rewind is on and moderate penalty. So I'm guessing you would get good, pretty bad at penalty. Now expert rules, which is simulate damage, fuel and tires, and rewind is completely off. So rewind is a good thing, but I'm trying to learn this. I don't want to be. I don't want to be the worst driver, but I want to be the most precise and more respectful driver. So without further ado, I'm actually go with the expert. And that's the warmer. It says you can change these settings anytime between the races, but I'm not probably going to. This is my final decision. I'm going to keep it how it is.
practice is your time to learn the track layout and how your car handles. I've set a target lap time for you. If you struggle to achieve the lap time, consider changing the difficulty settings. The one thing I am going to change is the steering. I'm going to turn that normal. Uh, normal steering will give the driver the full. That's how I'm going to do it. Uh, braking, you can do partially assisted. I don't want to have that on 100%, but I want normal uh, allow manual steering into pit. So that means allows the drive directly into the pit. Yeah, I'll do that. That's fine. Shifting is automatic unless I get my wheel set up, which I will be, because I think it does have a wheel. Like a wheel thing, right? thing. Does it? It should have a wheel one. Maybe. Because it's, it's probably going to be the advanced controller. Maybe. It should, though. But when I have the wheel set up, I'll actually have the actual shift, the paddles. So I, will I will actually know how to do everything. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to keep it on that. Let's go ahead and save that. And let's get into this race. So we can tune the car if we want to. Driving we can style, fuel in. This is pretty much how the fuel loaded. Key factors in determining our initial fuel and tire strategy. Do we take limited fuel and soft tires for a light and fast car? Or push a late lap pit strategy with a full tank and harder tires. Teams must weigh the cost benefits of each decision. We'll want to play around with the setup to find the best combination for each event. Okay, so we can pretty much change the fuel load, but if you change the fuel load, loading less fuel decreases the weight of the vehicle, improving acceleration and handling. So we don't want to put a whole gas tank, a whole full gas tank. You can, but it will calculate how many laps we get, which is 33 laps. So that's how many fuel, but I'm going to keep it on where it was, which is 36, and keep it on there. We're going to keep it there. Uh, you can tune the car if you want to. So I got an achievement for that. Uh, probably change the fuel in the tire setup. The event, this is all the events. So we have four laps. Practice laps are three. And it's for race lap. This is the driver list. This is how many people are going to be going against us. So we have a Honda Civic, Ford Focus, a Vox Extra. Never heard of that. Toyota Supra, so a new one. A, a Cadillac, a Golf, Alpine, a Renault, so, and a Volster. So series standing right now, we're pretty much all on one and one. So. But that's how it is. This light fog is 8 a.m. So let's go ahead and get this race going or this practice going. Um, I'm not going to pretty much. I'm not going to talk during the uh, race. I'm going to talk during the practice so everybody can get a different feel of what is really going to happen with this series. So here we go. Practice is a critical part of any race event, where you hone your skills with your latest build on the track you'll be racing. As you practice, you earn credits, and we'll be tracking your lap times to see how you match up against the competition before the race. Every practice session has a target lap time, uh, which is based on the chosen driver's hard difficulty setting. Hitting your lap time target will give you um, CXP bonus, so I'm guessing extra bonus, credit bonus. This is a good indicator that you have become, you will become, be competitive in the race. Let's do this. So yeah, I'm only going to talk in the practice, but the race, I'm going to have to focus. So I got more control of the car. Because before, remember when I had started it, I didn't have any control. Braking is still 100% right now. It's still partially assisted. It's not 100% fully assisted. I still can brake myself, but I'd rather let the game do it until I physically can learn it. Then I'll watch it. If you see at the top where it says segment score, there's 
they're pretty much scoring all of my stuff on uh, how I'm driving and how it's going right now. So, it's not looking too bad. I'm just going to keep it going. and do the race now so this is the part where i'm gonna have to cut my mic or pretty much turn the mic off so i can actually um get ready for this to pretty much uh go down we're gonna go to the race right now and hopefully i can win this race so we're gonna see we got three laps cannot mess this up so we gotta we gotta be very good and very respectful driver here we go It's a stacked field today for this first event. Plenty of time to size up the competition before race start.
Good work today. P2. All right, so we finished the race 100% with no penalty. Even with the Forza penalty enabled, we had no penalty. So who, we had none, no penalties, nothing. Um, I ended up in second place. You know, that's actually really cool, but you know, it makes sense because one that other, the Honda Civic that was in front of me, it makes more horsepower than what mine does or the class is in. And it's also lighter than the Mustang. So it actually makes a lot of sense why that car would be able to, you know, be able to really dust me. So it's fine. You know, I actually kept the bolster behind me. That was the whole goal. I didn't want to go to third. Um, I didn't want to go to third place. I wanted to try to stay um, in, what's the name? In second place. That was all I was trying to do. So that was good we did very well so let's go ahead and Points continue after every race will determine our overall series standings ending the series at the top of the leaderboard means that trophy is ours okay so we only got one event so i don't know what's happening but now i'm only going to be able to do one event because i'm not making this video too long but yeah next the episode Cup event number one in the books A good yep. showing out there today i got second place and they got first. Good job. But I'm definitely going to hook up the wheel in the next video and definitely race it with the wheel. I am going to have a a wheel cam. It will be in the video as well. Um, so you guys can see that. And yeah. As our car levels up, we'll unlock new parts that we can use to increase vehicle performance. So yeah, so we got wheel sizes. So I can go up to an 18 if I really wanted to. Uh more tires okay anti sway bars which is cool and we got tire compound so we i got pretty far we're ready to head out for our next event so we can continue if we want to or we can exit and see what all they want they have left or other stuff they got i'm gonna exit to see what they have it might be some st different stuff i want to try out but these are all different clubs. So this is the Builders Club. They have another one. So yeah, I'm on the Builders Club right now. They have the Modern uh, Tour, the Enthusiast Tour, the Power Tour, the Legacy Tour, the Open Class Tour. Um, and all of them are in pretty much different perspectives. So practical performance, built for speed, I mean, built for sports, super sedan, uh, premium performance modern reward showcase so pretty much you're gonna have to go through all these classes and you can't do it without completing the uh what's the name the introduction part these are all the um featured ones they have so those are all the pro pretty much the if i really can think about it um those are all the pretty much things you can do if you go to race um, I don't know exactly what So you got free play, which is any car, any track, the fastest way for you to get on track and be able to set your rules, rivals, private, uh, multiplayer, feature multiplayer, or you have career, which we're currently doing right now. We're doing the career. Um, it has cars. You can buy a car. You can design the cars that you want. So I'm going to Welcome to the showroom. Here you'll find hundreds of cars by dozens of manufacturers. Okay, so we're right now in the Subaru or the featured one. So this is all Acuras. I don't know why the Dodge one is here when I had Acura, but it might have been. Oh, that's still featured. So yeah, Acura, Afro Romero, uh, AMC, Apollo, which is one of the hardest cars to get. Uh, Aston Martin. And usually they do have Formula Drift, but you just got to find it. Bugatti, you can get the Devo, the Buick, Cadillac, Chrysler, you got that one. That was kind of nice. Uh, yeah, you got the Chevy, we're in a Chevy now. So see, so like how this one is, it looks like it's like a drag car maybe, I don't know. And these are all cars you can physically build. Looks like a NASCAR, maybe, maybe, I don't know. No, that's not a NASCAR. 
We got a Dodge. We got Ford. So we got a. So yeah, so pretty much that's the one I own right now. You can buy more if you want to. So 2016 Ford Mustang. Um, I don't think they have the new Mustang. Maybe not. Doesn't seem like. No, they don't have the new Mustang. Maybe. Let me see. Let me go back to the front. It might have been on that top list. I didn't see it. Yeah, they got the 20. So they do. They have the 2020 Ford Mustang GT500. The Shelby GT500. So they don't have the the Dark Horse or the um the other one that just was on that showroom floor. I don't see any Formula Drift. I don't know where you would go with that. Maybe uh. Yeah, let's try replay. We've secured you unlimited access to the biggest collection of cars on Earth and the best tracks to race them on. Set your race rules or run with no rules at all. Better buckle up, though. The action is going to be intense. Okay, so I'm going to go here real quick and let me see what this is. So this is free play, so I'm guessing um, you can buy and rent a car. And this is the Porsche, so I'm guessing it came with the car. So we can get the Porsche if we want to, but we can rent one and take it out on our course. So I can get like... If I really wanted to, I don't think they have Bentley because oh they do. Oh they got the one. Oh cool, that's cool. They have a Bentley. So these are all the cars that I can physically rent. I can rent these and use them on a track. So I can pretty much go in if I want like the new the 2023 or the see so like how this one is. This is the 2023, uh the 2024 Chevy E Ray. So then you got the Z06, the 2028 uh, Chevy Corvette Stingray Coupe. You have the new Mustang, or the, what's the name? The, pretty much, they don't have a new Camaro, which is really crazy to me that you guys don't have the new one. But I can take, like, the for, the Formula One, uh, the Forza One. I don't know why I keep saying Forza, the Formula One. So these obviously are ones that you have to probably uh, pay for, I guess. I don't know. Which ones can you rent? That's what I'm so confused about. Or those are only buy ones. Because I'm like, if you don't have a car, you can buy one or rent one for the event. So how do you rent? Yeah, I only have two cars. Okay, so I guess they gave that one as a gift. Cool. but they have a Porsche so you can drive the Porsche circuit race uh, the track it can be random so these are all the places it has Eagle Rock Speedway um, Indianapolis Motor Speedway Le Mans Lime Rock uh, it got a couple of good spots the Nuremberg um, Road America weather tech raceway i've seen that one a lot and then you can try all the different avatar you can have them you don't have to have them number of laps is automatic uh ramp you can have weather raining as heck but that's all the things they have you can jump start your career which is get the welcome pack which is pretty much like you paying for uh what's the name if you really wanted to that's multiplayer i think that's what that is maybe let me try. I'm going to jump into multiplayer. In featured multiplayer, you'll have the opportunity to compete at the international level against some of the best drivers in the sport. It will take 100% focus and practice and qualifying for us to have any chance at success on race day. Oh, okay, good. So I got that car now. That's cool. Uh, so yeah, it doesn't have... I guess they don't have... What's the name? I'm going to have to look it up then. Yeah, how people get it. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to look it up. But that is it for this episode, guys. But I hope you guys did enjoy it. Um, we're going to have a couple more episodes. But this game is definitely going to be something that's on the channel for a while. I'm not going to, you know, take it away. Um, you know, this game. 
this game is not bad it is definitely worth it i would say it is 100 percent worth it once i get my racing wheel set up and get actual racing in i'm telling you 100 percent, it will be probably the absolute best game you guys have ever have ever seen before it, this will be one of the coolest games and it's not bad it's not it's not crazy you know at least they want you to at least compete in one two or three they they want either first place second place or third so those are the only passing ones so we'll definitely keep this going and you know uh i would definitely make more videos on this and we'll see how it goes so uh if you like it comment and i'll talk to you guys there take care